Joe Hopkins here, and today I'm reviewing guitar strings. Why? Because every guitarist needs strings for their guitar. I've tried out a lot of different brands. Uh, this one, Musell, right? Uh, got them on Amazon for like 18 bucks for three packs of them. This is, it says Phosphor Bronze Wound. This is their custom light 11 gauge, but they have uh, light, light medium and medium. They also have extra light 10 gauge. I might try them sometime. Now, before I start here, just, you know, give you an idea. Uh, I got like something going on with my head, man. I got allergies real bad. It feels like a blooming bush sat on my face. And it sounds kind of hot, you know, <laughs> but it feels terrible. So I'm like not the best guitar player today. And if you can hear, I'm not the best at speaking. And uh, just so you know, my G string, yeah, sounds a little muted. Uh, that's not the strings. That's the guitar. Uh, nothing against Harley Benton. I've got my Harley Benton Delta Blues here. This thing's been playing great for years, but for some reason, you know, uh, just developed a problem. I did a video on it, got a lot of great suggestions, but that, that G string sounding a bit off compared to some of the others, not the fault of Musell. I tried three different brands of strings on here. They all did the same thing. So that's a problem I'll address at a future date when I have time, when I'm not working like double shifts all the time because my job needs me there, whatever, right? So anyway, yeah, and of course it's the G-string, right? Because we all like the G-string. Because uh, why not, man? I like to slide the G-string right in my nut here. And somebody suggested I should lube my nut. I did. It didn't help the guitar, but it was... I had a great time last night. Anyway, these strings, man, I like the way they sound. Uh just so you know, sound-wise, I'm plugged in here. I'm, I've got my piezo pickup, and I'm sure this microphone will pick up a good bit of it, and I'll just, uh, you know, th those sounds will be mixed together. So here we go, man, give you an idea. Nice, bright, snappy sound, as snappy as your mom's G-string. There you go. There, if it, I, I think it's in tune. Don't go throwing in the comments that you're out of tune, you're out of tune. I, my ears, man, I can't hear so good. I think I got it close, but I like the way the strings sound. It, it is that nice, bright kind of uh, tone that you get with good strings. You know, these are, like I said, they're new. I put them on like two weeks ago, I guess. I play the guitar a lot. So, you know, tends to wear the strings out, especially, you know, where you do a lot of bends, like once again on your G string where you bend it a lot. And most strings I have, they start to wear out pretty quick on, on especially on this guitar, because I play it a lot. And the strings will start to kink up, you know? Uh, kinky is a dominatrix on Sunday. And these, these aren't wearing out too bad. They're holding up pretty good. So, you know, I... They sound good. There we go. I think that is a tiny bit out of tune. Now that I'm playing it, I can hear a little bit better. But uh, they bend nice too. These strings bend. You know, acoustic guitar strings, some of them, some kind of tight, they don't bend too well. They don't tear up my fingers too bad either. Which, yeah, I got thick calluses, but you can feel it. You can feel the difference. In the past, lately, I've been using Earthwood strings. I I forget who makes them, but the name of the, it, the, there's the brand name and then the name of the string is Earthwood. If you look up Earthwood strings on Amazon, you'll find them. I've been using those, and these seem to be holding up uh, better than the Earthwood strings. Better than most other strings, actually. They're, like I said, uh, I go through strings pretty quick on my acoustic guitars. They wear out pretty quick. And these are holding up pretty well. They still sound, you know, two weeks in, they sound better than most of, m most of the strings I get. And they're not, they're not all wore out, you know?
Yeah, they sound uh, bright, clear. They sound good. They sound as good as any other brand out there. And like I said, they seem to be holding up uh, better than average. So it's hard to have a guitar in your hand and not just noodle around, you know? Yeah, something like that. Um, I'd say this is a pretty decent brand to buy. The, they look like any other guitar string. The box is pretty much like any other guitar string. I'll put, I'll put a link down in the description below to, you know, what I bought. And uh, if you're watching this in the future, it might not take you anywhere. Uh, I'm hoping in the future, the future takes us somewhere, but the link might not because they might not be there anymore. So if you're watching in the future, write a letter back here to the past and let us know, does it get any better? Do things improve? Does, you know, does hope return to the world? Is it a future where all mankind gets along and loves each other? Is it a brighter day? Is it better? better in general? Is it a future where I don't have to work ridiculous amounts of overtime because they tell me I have to? Is it a future where you can go out on the street safely and feel confident that you'll make it home alive? It, it, that's the kind of future I want to live in. That and a future with Mucell strings because I like them. I, I like Mucell strings. <laughs> I'm not just saying that, I really do. I might, you know, I'll try other brands in the future, but you know, for now. Yeah. Ooh, man, I'm stuffed up. I am just stuffed up, but playing the guitar makes me feel better. Something like that, if I'm playing even half decent. You know, it, it, it's harder to play when you're all clogged up and you can't hear yourself it, and everything's half numb, even than when you're drunk. If you see my videos, you know I play drunk, and that, that's not hard, but this this is like, woof, woof. So anyway, that gives you a good idea how they sound. You know, they sound good with chords, sound good with lead. All except the G string. The G string doesn't sound so good, man. It's probably because it just rubs right up there and that crack and I don't know. It makes it sound shitty. All right, enough, enough, enough. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Buy, buy some Mucell strings. Get you some, put them on your guitar, try them out, see how they sound for you. And, uh, you know, here in a sec, I got a, I got an end screen. There's playlists on it. There's a reviews playlist where you can check out my review of this guitar and other guitars and other instruments, man. If, if you want to see, uh, if you think of buying a banjo or a fiddle or a mandolin, I review all kinds of stuff on there. Usually guitars, but other stuff too. And I got a song playlist check out my songs because i'm awesome and you're awesome and if you listen to my awesome songs i make you doubly awesome and i'll see you guys in the next video all right i love you guys peace out baby Bye bye <laughs>